Um, let's now see uh, how we can make use of this by um, the other elements of our scenario here. Let's say the ball wants to um, increment this every time. So here in my world class, for at the moment I just have the code um, that creates and inserts the ball. Let's say here I get the world also to automatically create this label. Um, new label with a text. Um, count zero and I add this new label to the world at some place. Hmm. So I have now here created a label automatically. So if I have now here my label inserted automatically. Um, and now let's see, I want to um, make it happen that when the ball bounces off the wall that this label um, counts up how often um, the ball has bounced. So to make this happen, the one thing I have to do is I have to make this label accessible to the ball. So what I do here, I take this label and pass it in the constructor to this ball. I go to my ball code and I say here um, this ball now receives a um, label in its constructor and when this gets um, created the ball stores this label. Um, to store this label it now needs a field here where it can store it. So I have here a label where I can store uh, a field where I can store my label and the label gets passed in the constructor and gets stored. This should work so far. The last thing that I need to add now is the label itself needs a way to change the text that is currently displayed on it. The label does not need an act method. I can remove this here. Instead, what I want, I want a set text method so that I, after creation, can um, change the text on the label. So I have a set text method here. Um, and what I want is I want to change the currently displayed text to now be this text here. So what I do is I say get image and what I'm getting here is the current image from my label and I'm storing that in another local variable. Then I clear the current image, that is I wipe out everything that is currently displayed on it and then I repeat what I did here. I draw the new string, this string this time, onto the image. Um, I do not need to call set image now because this image already is the label's image because I got it from the label so I'm already um, working on the current image of this label. Let's try that out. First of all, if I interactively create a label and I write on it hello, then I can now right click on it, call the set text method, um, and change it to something else. Okay, that is good. So here, I have now a method available, set text in my label, to change the text that is currently displayed on the label. So here in the ball, um, let's say I introduce a counter, pry that int count, um, that starts off at zero, that counts 
um, up how often I have bounced here. If we look at the code at the moment, the act method of the ball says it moves and if we at the edge then bounce. So in the bounce method here that is where we want to count the bounces. At the moment the bounce method method all it does is it reverses the um, the sign that is the direction of the movement and so here what we can do is we increment our count that is the counting how often we have bounced and then we do a label dot set text count oh, maybe we don't want that space there uh, plus count okay so here we should now change the text on that label the label we have received in the constructor before so we have access to the label let's try that out Oh, we have an error here. Cannot find symbol variable label. Oh, that is because I have called it my label. So I want to here also call it my label. Let's try that again. Compile. Yes, this compiles fine. Compile the rest as well. And now run the scenario. And we see now the counter counts how often we bounce off the wall. You also have the ability um, with the Greenfoot image class to change the font that you're using um, on the label or change the color with which you are drawing on the label or in fact to um, make other drawings on the label if you want to change the look. Uh, for doing this you should go back um, to... oops, where is it? Let's go through here to the Greenfoot class documentation, look at the Greenfoot image and look through those methods that you have available here and you can find out what your options are to change the appearance of this label. But this is the basic idea to display text in Greenfoot scenarios. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.